Tanakoto, Tanakoto, Tanakoto Couture. I'm kind of reminded right at this moment what it must feel like for a family going to a family group conference um, when there's a lot of professionals in the room and um, you're feeling really unsteady and your tummy feels funny, so bear with me, please. Firstly, I'm really um, humbled to be asked to come and speak today and talk a little bit about what we've been doing in Presbyterian Support Central Family Works. Um, first task. Um, some of you may be aware Presbyterian Support has been delivering um, services to community children in for over 100 years. And we sit as seven different regions. And over the years, the seven different boards have looked together at whether we should become one national organisation. And overwhelmingly, they've decided that traditionally the Presbyterian way is local leaders for local communities and those communities support themselves and help to gain um, leadership from within their own communities. And that principle has stayed within Presbyterian support. So we were tasked by the um, National Federation to look and review at the services we delivered. And we were asked to look at um, international research, so capturing the previous speaker, in terms of um, what works with family, what works with keeping children as the centre of a process, but works as a family fano approach. And we were very fortunate that we came across at the time then the, um, in the United Kingdom, they, where I hail from, um, had introduced a program called Troubled Family Strategy, which had, was a government approach which had millions and millions of pounds attached to it. And it was a whole UK approach about trying to find good strategies and interventions to work with children and families. Um, the actual program of the Troubled Family was not really successful. It was more of that was the kind of money side. What did come out was several projects that were really, really successful in how to work effectively with children of Fano. So we um, explored and had several conversations with Essex County Council um, about their family solutions model, what it was about, um, what outcomes they'd had, how does this practice occur. Um, they came up with some um, key features that um, a dedicated worker dedicated to the whole family, that it provided a practical hands-on support and a persi persistent, assertive and challenging approach, the hard, having those hard conversations. Considering the family as a whole, gathering the intelligence, the assessment process and having a common purpose and agreed action. So within Presbyterian support, we felt that this would be um, a, an intervention that we would like to look at, to explore, um, and a key factor obviously being will, will this model, um, as Bridget talked about, be able to be um, lifted from one part of the world and dropped into another part? Could we make this a model that would be effective for Fano? One of the real benefits that has been for us is Essex County Council gifted Presbyterian Support Central all their operating specifications, all their learnings about implementation, how the um, model had worked with children and families and what had been their outcomes in the UK. Um, they worked with us to enable us to have really hard conversations with them about this is the challenges that we have in New Zealand. This is the community issues that we're um, are dealing with. Um, and we also wanted to know, the key factor was up for us was in um, working with our family works worker in terms of, did they feel this was a model that could work in these communities and give aspirations for Murray and have good outcomes for Murray. So we held, had those conversations and we just, um, were able to pilot with the support of Child, Youth and Family. The regional director supported um, this, these conversations in two, um, two sites in the Hutt Valley, Family Works in the Hutt Valley and Taranaki.
So we were, sorry, um, key factor in terms of how this uh, model of intervention works is that there are, it's a voluntary um, intervention and families who are referred predominantly by Rangatamariki or by other government departments are asked if they identify themselves two or more areas where these criteria for intervention are met. And families will, through that conversation, determine themselves which are the most important. And this is part of the relationship building process. And there can be conversations where um, <clears throat> families have been referred for actually an issue around substance misuse, but in the conversations in that assessment process themselves, they're actually saying, yes, that is a factor, but actually the most important change that we want to make, we have violence with our own finance. That's been a key factor that's emerged through these hard conversations and open conversations. In terms of the two regions where we've um, piloted this model of intervention, we have um, liaised really closely with our practitioner college colleagues in the UK and learned from them in terms of what was their process, what was their learning through the implementation. Um, within Family Works, we do have multidisciplinary teams. We have social workers and counsellors, social workers and counsellors who, and child and family therapists, play therapists, who work with individual parts of the family group. We have a named lead practitioner from within Family Works or from another agency who will be the key contact between that family. Um, we've invested in training our staff in a systems approach, so we've had many of our staff trained in family therapy. Um, and we do work with the whole family, so we get the whole family involved in this assessment process. Um, the key factors has been around a pre and post assessment, so as part of that seven criteria, family members will be asked to score where they feel they sit, so between one and ten where they feel they are at the moment and then where they'd like to be. What's their vision for the future? Where would they like to be positioned? That gives a really good um, positioning and different family members will be part of that scoring. And so the conversation in terms of the understanding of why the individual family members have placed different scoring also becomes part of the conversation. So the practice issues that we have um, determined to know up to date, um, consent and information sharing, obviously a big one, but within families, this is a voluntary process and the conversation at the beginning when families are referred is we will need consent to share what information is coming out through this process for all family members. To date, that hasn't been a problem. Family members are... Um, seem to be surprised that that wouldn't be, a sh be an, an issue that for everybody to understand the issues, then everybody needs to have the information. Um, and that is shared, but it's also through with a consent process. So we have conversations with um, family members that this information we now have will be shared as part of this process to get a good plan for, for the family. Um, having the hard conversations for, again, picking up on something Bridget was talking about in terms of quality staff. It's, it's really hard for some practitioners to actually have the true and honest conversation about what needs to change, what is not good enough, and what needs to be worked on in terms of it making a safe environment. Um, to remain child focused, to remain that the child is centre of the process, the, the reason <coughs> the family are coming together is to make changes to help the, to raise the environment for the children in these families. Um, <clears throat> and all part of that is a part of developing the relationship. We know as practitioners that the relationship is one of the key factors of having good outcome for children. The Munro report on child protection, so this is one of the biggest reports in child protection services in the UK, came out with clear statements that the most important part 
is not the assessment, not information, not administration. It's develop, developing a relationship with the families to enable good outcomes. That's an overwhelming factor. So the learning for us in terms of engagement was keep it simple. We have very few forms, but they're very focused in what we're asking. Um, we go through clear referral, intake and assessment, planning intervention, and we're using the scaling, the ones to 10 um, at regular um, sessions and are able to talk about what's changed, if they've gone back, what's that about, what's happened in the family to enable to, for something not to have gone as well. And the families and family that we're working with and the children really see that as a simple way of measuring what's happening. Really good feedback. Um, and again, we'll have family meetings which they will then be comparing the scorings, among, the screening scorings but amongst themselves about why people may have a different view on what's happening. <coughs> um, Child-centred, very much um, the child is centred to the process. An investment approach. Um, this, the troubled family strategies in the UK was an investment to save strategy. Essex County Council shared with us um, and have been to the House of Commons and talked about their experiences. What their, their investors saved was they had huge numbers of vacancies and staff within that local authority. They had huge numbers of children in care and a lot of children on their child protection register. So that would be equivalent to orangutan or repeat um, involvement. They put forward a proposal that if they, through delivering family solutions, could reduce the number of children in their care and the number of children who were receiving state services, they would invest every 30 pence in pound back into early intervention and prevention services. So that would be equivalent to like 30 cents to every dollar would go into, move into providing services because we know if we can set up a community and a culture of services being available at a really early point in time, we, we can then have a strategy to reduce the number of children at the top end of the factor. Um, high aspirations for Maori, we've had some amazing um, case studies and work undertaken in different family groups where we've had some really amazing outcomes and have t talked with those families about did this work for them. It, it certainly appears as a um, fun or a type approach when you're working with the whole family and we certainly haven't had any feedback to date that they felt uncomfortable with this process. Um, it seems a really simple process and a way that families and communities do work together. Um, I've got several examples if people are interested, but what, what we've undertaken so far shows that family violence is a key factor in probably 70% of the referrals we've um, got coming into Family Works. Um, child safety. I talked to, um, in preparing for today and last night, getting rather well, enough information, I spoke to the project manager in Essex County Council. They are using family solutions with 750 families per year now. This is six years post the introduction, and 75% of those families have family violence issues as a key factor coming into that criteria. So our learning to date is that we are having the same kind of process implementation outcomes as what the other side of the world have had in terms of um, trying to make changes for these children. So to capture Bridget's research, we then looked at what the evidence says. We do have psychotherapy services and parenting has been part of the services that Family Works has offered for a very long time. We do work with the whole family and children and adults alongside, so we are working with our littlies as well as our parents. And we have, and that Bridget also stated, there's little evidence about the effectiveness of the New Zealand programs. And we would really, as an NGO, love to put up the challenge for a government department to come and give some real evaluation around this um, project we've been developing. We don't have huge resources to actually, we, we are one of the resources that ask parents for their feedback, use evaluation forms and use stakeholders who've made the referral. But to have an independent research would be a really wonderful um, outcome for us and for the families to see, is this really an effective intervention <coughs> for, um, for children and families in New Zealand? So that would be my message to people here today. That would be really good. Tanakoto, Tanakoto, Tanakoto.